Hello and welcome to a new episode of Success Stories. We have had many students of Excel Academy who have passed the CS exams this time. And joining me today is Rakshaya. Welcome and congratulations. Hi sir, thank you. So can you tell our friends where are you from and which module you passed this time? Yes, sir, I am from Tamil Nadu, Namakkal, and I have uh, passed uh, module one. And I had an exemption with uh, JL and my score is uh, 153. Excellent. So you got an exemption and now you have cleared the module. It must be really great. So how was the family reaction when you told you have finished the module? Yeah, everybody was happy. And this is my third attempt. So they were like happy, really. After seeing uh, one and a half years of uh, my uh, struggle, uh, they were happy about it. So that brings me to the next question. Mainly it's about, see in CS, it's about sitting at home and study. It is not like some college you're going and it is like uh, college is fixed, three years become two years MCOM like that. But here, it all depends on many other factors. So how was that thing to sit at home, study for three attempts? What were the challenges you have faced? So basically, after completing my LLB, uh, there was a question whether I have to pursue uh, for PG or CS. And in my mindset, I was like, okay, I'll go with PG. It is just two years. I'll complete it. Uh, why so CS and all that? Somehow I pursued with uh, CS. And then my uh, first uh, thing is I'm an average student. In my first attempt, I felt it like, uh, why should, it's so hard, like whatever I write, I'm not getting marks under. In second attempt, I thought, okay, we will give a lot of answers so that we'll score marks under. Uh, in my second attempt, when I wrote a lot of answers, it was, it was like, I was not able to complete my paper. I was not able to complete my paper within time. So in the third attempt, I was like, okay, I need a guidance. So I joined uh, Excel when I saw. And then here I got to know how to write and answer everything. And then I made a timetable, scheduled myself, like my complete uh, planning on this last six months changed from the last past one year. So it's just like we have to change our way of studying if we continue if we continuously fail in something we have to change our progress so in that way i prepared it and then with a lot of suggestions what uh, you gave us everything i studied and i passed it so for everyone watching it please don't waste time in self-study we are not saying that it's in self-study you cannot pass you can definitely pass but when you get the coaching and mentorship it is just faster and just like Rakshaya has told now, that that gives you the results. But I want to ask you more about the challenge of people telling, oh, you're sitting at home. What are you doing? You're finished. It will be those things. How did you face? So, so everybody asked it, but I used to be like, I'm just preparing. I'm just preparing because people, uh, they want us either to practice or you go study somewhere or don't sit in home and do but my parents understood me, like what I'm doing, how I'm preparing everything. So I don't mind others talking about it. So actually, then I want to ask you, see, BCom student means, okay, nobody's getting job. That's understandable. But as a LLB, your LLB qualified, what gave you the confidence that, no, I want to finish CS and not go for a job or practice as a LLB? Sir, uh... I saw a lot of things and a lot of suggestions uh, which came for me and my uh, family people also wanted like something like a professional course uh, which will be more professional than a lawyer. Uh, it's not just we go, we argue or anything. We want more. I, I thought I'll be more into corporate side. So I preferred L uh, CS. Yeah, because and LLB is a too big ocean and you can get yeah. lost in the big ocean in LLB yes. and so many lawyers and stuff like that. Yeah. Good that you took that decision. So now one is to take the decision, then sit at home, then listen to everybody saying all kinds of things, then actually uh, studying. Since yes. you told that I was not very sure, JJL is one easy subject because you're from LLB background. But what about the other like tax paper and all? How did you face it? How did you study? Uh, so the first uh, like uh, I switched over to my syllabus. So in the first syllabus I had in module one, there was 
tax paper uh, in the first attempt i i it was not easy for me in the second attempt it was easy for me but uh, uh, somehow i didn't score in it in the third uh, like in the third attempt as i just over uh, i had cafm so in this attempt i felt cafm was a bit tough for me but with a uh, frequent practice like daily two hours after lunch i used to practice for uh, cafm like giving more importance to it i practiced it and i got it so oh. and uh, talking about other two subjects which is a uh, cl and uh, sbll i felt a cl was quite okay for me and sbll i was scared on ll part because uh, only 30 days was there for preparing ll but mams no goes so easy so uh, convenient to uh, study to everything and I, i did it okay wonderful great tell us about your daily schedule like from the like everyone says oh we have to study so much but what was your day from the time you get up to sleep how did you study uh, sir uh, after joining ll uh, excel only i started making time table as my days and i made 150 days time table sir and each and every day i made a time table from 5 to 10 and uh, but more or less my day starts by 6:30 or 7 uh, so my first thing will be like uh, i used to uh, prepare all the notes whatever i studied the previous day like a recap a uh, day starts with it and from 9 o'clock my uh, study starts from 9 to dinner time I have to study whatever I have to uh, whatever I have planned in the day, and then after nine I have to make a recap the day whatever I studied, and then again in the next morning I have to have a recap with uh, one day one answer I have to write, and all the test series like uh, there'll be some sudden papers I have to take all the question papers take any random question papers and try answers on it. so in that way my studies goes and i plan uh, each and every subject with the uh, lesson chapter wise if it is small small chapters i has to complete it first the big big chapters i has to divide it the topic wise and then i has to complete it slowly uh, it takes me uh, for me it's like a slow process uh, because i uh, i can't complete it in a very huge way like i has to make it very slow and i has to prepare and covering small small topic is very easy for me and uh, for others also i could suggest first complete the small small topics and then to go for the large one okay wonderful now tell us a little bit about so you did self study before then you came to excel what is that extra things you got in excel which gave you the confidence to pass um uh, sir in self study uh, we have only uh, limited knowledge sir. whatever we know we we just study and knows everything in after uh, joining excel i added on lot of informations like uh, whatever line i missed out in the textbook because uh, institution have given us the uh, material so we have to prepare it completely i never got into any lessons that deep uh, after joining excel like uh, in excel itself we used to study with the textbook so it was so uh, clear that we have to study each and every line in the textbook we have to get more mm-hmm. informations and then in this exam i think in uh, cl or sbec there was a question which i didn't know the answer but there was a, uh, i remember the illustration which you told us in the class so with that uh, it helped me a lot so that i wrote the answer whatever i got to know about it so that wise it is so easy for us to have a mentor and do it that is okay wise. and uh, did you do one day one answer weekly test mentorship call how was that experience uh so one day one answer i used to do it uh, even though i posted it or not i used to have a practice of it and then uh, weekly uh, test uh, more or less i tried to write it sir more uh, 50% 50 i wrote and 50 i didn't but i tried doing it in the weekdays also and then uh, mentorship call ma'am was frequently calling us uh, calling me and then she used to ask raksha how many have you completed everything and i used to have it like okay this time ma'am if she calls i have to tell her that i have completed this much so i used to make sure for her call itself i used to be like okay raksha we have to complete it ma'am is going to call us and i used to uh, report her how much i have completed 
so honestly it's about us we are sitting in home even if i tell something wrong also she won't know it but i want to be honest to myself so that i told her whatever i have completed so that way i used to be scared okay the same mom is going to call me i had scared her. okay wonderful very nice to know that so how is your confidence for the second module so it's like a push for me i didn't know like uh, i wasn't uh, ready like I, i didn't believe myself that i would pass this uh, thing also sir because of cafm i was telling ma'am that ma'am i, I don't know about cafm i i'm going to fail in it and uh, but ma'am was like do please don't worry about it. the marks are next uh, please do move, move on and all so i started preparing for uh, module 2 and right now i'm in a push okay fine this time i at least try the exam even though it's not about the hit try it with a full push and all so i'm so eager to attend the next thing next like module okay okay really nice so we look forward to meet you again in the success stories after you pass module 2 what do you say sure sir great so that was rakshaya who has finished llb sat at home faced the failures was doing self study then joined our excel studied very hard took the coaching mentorship and finally have cleared the module 1 so thanks a lot for joining i hope everybody who has watched this got some inspiration that you are not alone everybody faces lot of issues people telling oh you sitting at home and study all this everybody face but it is your job like rakshaya has told it is up to us it is up to us to be determined and study well it is there in your hands you have the potential please study hard thank you and i will see you in the next episode